We are now going to look at the next type of exponent sums that we get. And they look as follows. So the main difference between these and the previous ones are that these are one term over one term. Okay, And we can also identify them by seeing that all our bases are <coughs> kind of bigger numbers. And then also the variables are in all the variables are in the exponents. Okay, now there are also a certain number of steps that we can just follow that makes the procedures for these sums rather easy. Um, so I'm going to write them out as I do the steps. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is basically to prime factorize. And that meaning we are going to take all the bases and just make them or prime factorize them. So this is going to be 2 to the power 3, then times by 3 squared to the power of 1 minus x, and then times by 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 3. And as I prime factorize them, if it has um, exponents, that has to be 2 to the power of x, um, I prime factorize them and put them into brackets. Okay, that's 2 to the power of 4, x minus 1, and then times by 3 to the power of negative x. All right, now if you are struggling with prime factorization as well, um, there is an easier and faster way that you can do it. Um, if you just use your calculator, you can type in the number. So for example, 16, you type in 16, you press equal, then you press shift and fact. All right, and then you just get it in its prime factored form. Okay, so that was step one. That's not too hard, I think. Then for step two, we are going to apply law three. And with that, meaning we are going to take the powers in um, and get rid of the brackets. So this is going to become 2 to the power 3x times 3 to the power of 2 minus 2x times 2 to the power of x minus 3 times 3 to the power of x minus 3. And that's all over 2 to the power of 4x minus 4 times by 3 to the power of negative x. All right. So that was step two. And then next, we want to group all the bases together. Okay, And in th that meaning, we're going to apply basically law one and two, actually, where if we multiply the same bases, we add the exponents. And if we divide the same bases, we subtract the exponents. But we're going to basically do that in, in one step. We're going to say, OK, I've got a base of two. And I've got bases of three. So I'm going to take bases of two. And then everything that's at the top, if the base at the top, you add the exponents. If the base is in the denominator, you you subtract the exponents. Okay, so this is going to be 3x, and then the other one is x minus 3, so plus x minus 3, and then minus the one that's at, at in the denominator, uh, 4x minus 4. But notice that I've placed it in, in brackets, and that just reminds us that the minus, or the negative, needs to go to both of these terms. Okay, and then um, to the power of, and then 3 to the power of 2 minus 2x plus x minus 3, and then minus negative x. All right. Okay, and then the final one is just to simplify. So uh, basically, we can add these so long. So you're going to say 2 to the power of 4x minus 3, and then multiply out in the brackets negative 4x plus 4, and then 3 to the power of, so this is minus 2x plus x is negative x. This minus and minus becomes a plus. So minus x plus x, that adds up to 0. And then 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay. And then simplifying this further, 4x minus 4x is 0. Minus 3 plus 4 is 1. So this is 2 to the power of 1 times by 3 to the power of negative 1. Now just to change this to a positive exponent, we're going to take the base down. And that then becomes 2 over 3 as our final answer there. Okay, now for example 2, so we've got four examples that we're going to work through. First, we just, just start with prime factorizing. So 3 to the power of 2n times, uh, that becomes 3 to the power of 4 to the power of n minus 1. That is 3 cubed to the power of negative 4n. And that's all over 3 to the power of 1 minus 6n. And then get rid of the brackets that's 3 to the power of 2n times 3 to the power of 4n minus 4 times by 3 to the power of negative 12n that's all over 3 to the power of 1 minus 6n okay and then we just group all the bases and in this case we only have threes okay so we're adding the top part 2n 
plus 4n minus 4 minus 12n and then subtracting the bottom part 1 minus 6n okay and then we have um, 3 to the power of uh, so if we add these we've got 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 12 is minus 6 so minus 6n um, and then here we have negative 4 this is minus 1 uh, multiplying that in and plus 6n and then taking that further we have uh, negative 6n plus 6n so that gives us 0 and then we have 3 uh, to the power of negative 4 minus 1 is minus 5 and then finally we can just um, take that down so we say 1 over 3 to the power of positive 5 and then if we put that into the calculator we have 3 to the power of 5 which is 243 so 1 over 243 example 3 we are just going to start by prime factorizing again so this becomes 2 times 5 and then that's to the power of 4x minus 1 this becomes 2 squared and then that's to the power of 3 minus 2x and that's all over 2 squared to the power of 1 plus 2x and then times by 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 minus x and times by 5 squared to the power of 2x all right then we just get rid of the brackets by um, taking the exponents into each base so that's 2 to the power of 4x minus 1 times by 5 to the power of 4x minus 1 and then times by 2 to the power of 6 minus 4x all over 2 to the power of 2 plus 4x and then times by 2 to the power of 4 minus 4x and then times 5 to the power of 4x okay grouping the same basis we've got twos and we've got fives so for the twos all the all the twos that are in the numerator we add the exponents 4x minus 1 plus 6 minus 4x and then subtract the ones in the new denominator we've got minus 2 plus 4x and minus 4 minus 4x all right and then the base of 5 at the top we have 4x minus 1 and in in the denominator minus 4x okay now simplifying this over here we need to multiply out the brackets but we can so long add the like terms here 4x minus 4x is 0 and then minus 1 plus 6 is 5 and then that becomes minus 2 minus 4x and minus 4 plus 4x and for the 5 4x minus 4x once again 0 so 5 to the power of negative 1 and then we have 5 minus 2 is 3 minus another 4 is to the power of negative 1 minus 4x plus 4x 0 and then we have the following now to make the exponents positive we can just write it over 1 so take both of the bases down and say 1 over 2 times 5 and that just becomes 1 over 10 then for example 4 prime factorize so that's 2 times 3 to the power of 2x and then 2 is 2 squared to the power of x over 2 plus 1 and then times 3 all over 2 squared to the power of x times 3 squared to the power of x plus 1 times by 2 to the power of x minus 1 all right um, take in the exponents to the basis so 2 to the power of 2x times by 3 to the power of 2x times by so this two th these two cancels so 2 to the power of x plus 2 times 3 to the power of 1 and then 2 to the power of 2x times by 3 to the power of 2x plus 2 times by 2 to the power of x minus 1 and then group the same basis all the 2's 2 becomes 2x plus x plus 2 minus 2x uh, minus x minus 1 and then the 3's are 2x plus 1 and then this one minus uh, 2x plus 2 right now simplifying 2x minus 2x that's 0 so we're just left with with 2 we just left with that x plus 2 minus x plus 1 and then the 3 uh, this becomes 2x minus 2x is 0 uh, 1 minus 2 gives me minus 1 and then going further we have 2 to the power of uh, 3 and then times by 3 to the power of negative 1 we can change that to a positive exponent take the base down so this is 2 to the power of 3 over 
3 and that just becomes 2 to the power 3 is 8 so that just becomes 8 over 3.